If you want to support the platform, just in case anything like this happens again, you can do it by way of PayPal, Patreon, uh, Cash App, and also by um, the Anchor. And you can also further support the platform by way of going to the uh, the Teespring store or um, the shoe store that is located in the comment section below. So please, we are making this video for the Nigerian government to so please, please, if they, if really, true, if truly they have the interest of Nigerians at heart, they will come to the head out, they will reach out to the Indian government for proper at least negotiation in order for these little children to go. While there are some other children over here who some of them, they've lost their parents, some of them, their parents are in jail and they need to go back home to reunite with their extended family, but they are all been denied here. So please and please, we are begging the federal government of Nigeria to at least do something about it. And I want to plead, I want to plead with all Nigerians to at least spread this video, share it all over every platform. Share this video over every platform so, so that it can reach out to the appropriate authority in order for them to do the necessary things. Now, my one question is, uh, where is Akon at a time like this? Like back when Sway uh, wanted to, you know, ask about people's feelings during 9-11, he was like, I wonder what Ja Rule would feel about this. I wonder what would Akon feel about the situation, seeing some of his African brethren uh, suffering uh, and going directly through this. You obviously have some African men there, some some young children there. You can see them walking around. You obviously have the mothers or, you know, women uh, directly there. And pretty much people are stranded at the moment of time and they're going to get deported. And uh, they're pretty much stuck in limbo. And we all know that Akon has money. He's rich. He can easily, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure he can press a few buttons and, you know, he can help to fix or alleviate, you know, some of the stress or problems that uh, the Nigerian folks here might be going through and suffering from. But, you know, my main thing is, and, and, and this is not me trying to make it a laughing matter or anything like that, but to an extent, some people would look at this as a form of karma. Um, because if we look through uh, some of the recent times on social media, we have seen um, some African peoples uh, have been pretty outspoken when it comes to talking about uh, black Americans and how it is that, you know, we are lazy and how it is that we don't want to work and how it is that we don't want to earn anything, how it is that we are always trying to be victims and oppressed. And, you know, they have all of these questions like, where, where's the oppression? Like, where, where, where's all of these things that you right? And, and, and there and no. These are the Africans that came directly over here. And the only reason that they're able to come over here is because of what black Americans have done, what they have struggled for, what they have fought for, all the many miles and journeys that they have walked, all of the many uh, uh, bodies that have been laid in order to make the groundwork, in order to make all of these things transpire so that they can actually get on a plane or a ship by their own admission, by their own willpower, and come directly over here just to be able to disrespect us. Ain't that something? And then you also have some that are directly, you know, over, you know, on the continent. And, um, you know, they too are, you know, joining in and, and, and talking a lot about black Americans. And, you know, I, I feel to an extent that you have the blind leading the blind. Like, of course, you have some that are willfully doing it just because of whatever reason that they feel. Right. But then you have a lot of others that are on the bandwagon because this seems like the thing to do because you have some of their own uh, that are gaining recognition. They're gaining the limelight. They might be even gaining some monies and a platform uh, directly off of this. So you'll have a lot of other people jump directly onto this, hoping that they can get a little bit of what that other person also has as well. 
But, you know, like I said before, uh, I, for me, I really don't have a problem with a lot of people. I just have a problem when they have a problem with black people. That's that's my problem. That that is that's always been my one main thing. The moment in time that you got a problem with black Americans for whatever reason. Yeah, we got a problem. And um, I'm, I'm going to, you know, in a sense, let that be known. Like I said before, um, I don't got a problem with everybody. I just got a problem with the ones that's talking, the, the ones that want to be the loudest. When clearly now this is taken from a post from 2020 right it said the numbers are not looking good in our investing people report it stated that 200 million estimated population 13.9 million unemployed youths uh nigerian 300 million in monies average investment in territory institutions 46 million nigerians still practicing open defecation only three percent of nigerians have health insurance then the other post to the side it says 47 million nigerians practice open defecation and 25 million use unimprovised toilets and this is just one of those signs so again i'm just you know clearly stating there's a lot of things going on in a variety of countries you know, directly out there. And it would behoove a lot of people who know that they have, you know, problems back at home. If you reside here in the United States and you just, in a sense, got here, you've been living here for a while, um, just be respectful. Just be mindful that you are a guest, the same as if I, a Black American, decided to go over to a African, you know, country. I, no matter how long that I, you know, would stay there, I would never at a point in time try to disrespect the culture. I would not try to disrespect uh, the people or, or or what have you. I would not do that because that is clearly your culture. That is something that is established. I can agree to disagree, but I am not going to directly try to get on a Nigerian social media platform and decide that I'm going to bad mouth the whole of nigerians and try to stand on some type of soapbox making it seem as though i am better than the niger i would never do that why, why would i do that that doesn't make any sense the only reason i'm able to go over there is because the nigerians or or whatever other peoples in in the many countries in africa established those countries they they are there they reside there they have their cultures there their eateries their their home you know all of that Right. So, you know, again, all I'm stating as a simple black man in America is that people who are the loudest talking from a variety of African countries who want to badmouth black Americans, please just humble yourselves and, you know, speak kindly. And black Americans will do the exact same thing back. It, it is a, you know, a, a very simple ask. That is it. That's it. Just, you know, we ask for respect in order for respect to be given. That is it. That's it. You know, and again, like I said before, I, you know, I, I just wonder on this, you know, on both of these topics, where is Akon, right? Where is Akon to, you know, try to perform a solution uh, for a lot of the Nigerians here, right? Right. They are suffering due to the fact that a lot of them do not have, they don't have like the plumbing. They, they don't have like a, a type of sewage, you know, situation. They don't have a sewage installation of which, you know, people can actually have toilets and, you know, different things of that nature to change the habits, you know, of the people there. And as they clearly stated, you know, you have only 3% of the Nigerians, you have an estimated population of 200 million. Only 3% of them have health insurance. 46 million Nigerians still practice open defecation. Like I said before, there's a lot of work that needs to be done in a lot of areas. Again, I just ask for any of those who are the loudest talking that have in a sense just gotten here. You, you historically have not been here, right? You don't have a lineage here. Just please be mindful, be respectful, and just always make sure that, you know, you just, you know, wipe your shoes off before you step into somebody's house. That's that's all I'm asking. That's it.